I'm going to do a quick uh, video review on some field covers I got from Mark Kistner. Uh, some of them are magnetic. Uh, some of them are uh, just vinyl, sticky vinyl. Uh, he wanted me to try some of these out and give some feedback. And this is live. I haven't put them on yet or tried to run them. So I'm going to do everything live and give everybody an idea um, what his product is like. Okay, I know some mess here. But here's these are, these are some of my field cover. These are my, my uh, sheet metal. This is the Spartan ones I had done. Uh, this is regular sticky vinyl. It's on a two by four sheet that I get from a metal shop in Minneapolis. Here's the Michigan one. People might have seen it on the videos. Here's one of my plain Toe Pro ones. All of these are Toe Pro fields, which means you have the borders there. And they're 20 by 45 uh, playing playing surface from sideline to sideline here. And you got the, you know, the extra space around the, the edges. Okay, excuse the mess, but here's my frame. This is a frame I built. You can see I have the, you know, the inner frame. And then you have the, the borders on the side. I went with the two and a half inch. A lot of people do the four inch. I went with the two and a half inch. So my sheet metal drops right into that frame and rest in there. I don't have any uh, brackets or anything. I don't have a, a metal brace or anything. I use 22 gauge metal. So it sets in there. I don't have any sag or anything. I also use rotary motors still. Here's one of them. I have, you know, about a half a dozen different rotary motors and a real power. I do have a dynamic uh, strategy board. Uh, with the electromagnet motor as well as uh, ultimate board from Tudor. Um, I pretty much got every board, but this is the one that uh, I play with. I have three frames similar to this where I got about eight or eight or ten different uh, fields that I drop in there. But this magnetic field cover is going to kind of change the game here for me because I won't have to keep buying different sheet metals. I'll show you as it'll go right over the top of either a plain piece of sheet metal or on top of a piece of sheet metal that already has a vinyl cover on it. So here I have the Michigan cover right here that I bought. I'm gonna drop it in here and then I'm gonna put the vinyl cover, I'm sorry, the magnetic cover on top of it. Okay, so now it's in there. Um, I didn't get to show how I did it, but yeah, you just pop it in there and it rests in there. Like I said, you don't have any sag or anything. You see underneath, I haven't attached the motor yet. And I'm gonna attach the motor while I'm live. See, I'm reaching under here now. Just gonna put it in a, one of the corners and I have it facing towards, have it facing towards the outside of the board, about the 10 yard line. Then I can move it around and get it to run better. Move it a little bit. Like that. Okay, I tried to draw it back as far as I can. But okay, now I got the field cover on there. I'm gonna take these magnets off and I'm just gonna roll out that magnetic cover and put it right on top of this vinyl cover. Um, and show you how easy it is. Okay, number one, sorry about that. Here's the vinyl cover. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna, it's the first time I've ever done it, so I'm gonna put it in the end zone here, up against the up against the edge here, and I'm just gonna roll it. <clears throat> it's like that. Yeah, that worked out pretty good. Now it's on there. Probably not perfect, but uh, it actually comes up fairly easy if you need to move it a little bit. Yeah, see how that moved over. I'm going to move it down here a little bit from here. But again, it's my first time and I'm not having a lot of problems. So there. There it is. So I'm going to turn it on. Still got my decent uh, movement there. Or different, decent uh, sound. Let's see how it moves. I'm going to get a figure. You know, still tweak your motor like you normally do. Like I said, I just snapped it on there. I could probably move it one way or the other. Try to move it a little bit. 
There you go. But yeah, so I mean that was really easy. And uh I mean you can get in touch with Mark as far as the find this dead spot here. As far as you know what he charges and all that. Yeah, you just have to tweak it. But yeah, it's easy to get on and off. And then I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is just roll it up and pull it off. Um so I'm just gonna lift it up here a little bit. And <clears throat> There's that. And we're back to that one. All right, so that's that. I like it. Um, very thin, very lightweight. You could probably put it back in the tube. I'm, what I'm going to do is probably put a, get a box and roll them up really tight as I can and then put a rubber band on them and then I can stick like half a dozen or a dozen in a box at a time. But yeah, I love it. Um, it's actually better than I thought. You can see how thin it is and you can tell how light it was by how you know I'm carrying it around. When I pulled it, uh, pick the pick the tube up at my door. I couldn't even tell the difference between it being a vinyl board and a magnetic board. So, okay, hope that helps anybody. And like I said, get in touch with Mark Kisner if you want more information on his pricing and all that kind of stuff. But I just thought I would share my experience with it uh, with you about it.